this was Pearland circa 1995. Pre-1995, Pearland was a little podunk, 4A school. They'll be whooped up on them every year in football. And then what happened? It became a master planned community, and builders went out there, and they built houses, and people moved into Pearland. And all of a sudden, Pearland went from being, you know, 17,000 people maybe, to, I don't even know how big Pearland is now. Does anyone know? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ballpark this, and I could be way off. But I'm going to go 50,000-ish, but from 17,000-ish. I mean, these are all pure BS numbers, right? But I mean, just gut feeling. And that's in the span of less than 15 years. That's like that's what we kind of call overnight. Pearland just blew up. From, went from having one small high school to now three large high schools. Okay? So say the population of this town was growing continuously and exponentially. All right? Oh, no, no, it's not going to work. <laughs> of a small town can be approximated by let's go with 23,000 e like that is the number of years since 1995. <coughs> Alright, does that work for everybody? So here's my question. What was the population of this town in 1995? It's just 23,000. How do you get that? There's, there's two ways you can answer that question, they're both valid. Or there's maybe others, but they're less valid. Okay? Here's one way to go about it, the, the literal approach. If T is the number of years since 1995, how, in the year 1995, how many years has it been since 1995? Zero, right? And if I plug in zero for t, what's e to the zero? What's anything to the zeroth power? That's an important idea on your test, don't forget it. What's anything to the zeroth power? And what's one times 23,000? 23,000, okay? So you could say that something silly like p of 1995 equals 23,000. There's another, I think, more sort of direct way to answer that question. If this is modeling the population since 1995, how much is this starting with? What's the initial value here? <coughs> it's the 23,000. That's the given number, right? So, in 1995, we have 23,000 people. Okay? Follow-up question. Um, what's the population in the year 2000? So I plug 2,000 in for T. Not unless it's been 2,000 years in between 1995 and 2000. Right? When I say T is the number of years measured since 1995, we've got to subtract the 1995 from whatever year we're trying to plug in. Right? So by my calculations, that means T equals 5. Oh, hang on. This is a typo. Did y'all see the typo? I fell from my own trap. Right here. That's not 1995. That's zero. That's time equals zero. Sorry. Can't believe I did that. That was the whole point I was trying to make. Is the year isn't the thing I'm plugging in for T. It's... Oh. 
All right, so what's P of 5? What's 23,000 E to the point 1A times 5? Six thousand, or just fifty-six people. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I just, these numbers are purely made up. I have no idea what number we're gonna get.